let me just repeat again so inner sub query is called as what query within a query is called as sub query first the inner query this is iq means inner query first the inner query will get executed it will give output to the outer query and finally the outer query will get executed the choice of operator will depend on the number of inputs given by the inner query so is it clear first inner query then choice of operator depends on the number of input given by inner query and then outer query will get executed yes or no guys tell me yes or no yes yes sir so sequential order the execution happens in sequential order sequential means what one by one so execution happens in sequential order sequential order means what first inner first query will get executed then outer query will exec get executed there is no parallel execution here first inner query will give the output to the outer query and then outer query will get executed so this is definition and everything let us just see in the uh, real time example how this is being used okay so scott and tiger is the password okay so this is the table So guys, I want to get the maximum salary. What is the query for that? Select star max. Star max uh. max max salary from me. Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes. Now, <clears throat> guys, if you have understood this diagram, this diagram is very very important. So I just wanted to save this diagram so that today I'll share you this diagram. so what i want to tell you guys is that syntax okay let us just see the syntax so this is uh, outer query select first we will write select then a star from then where now pay attention guys select a star from where this is fine here you can write the column also where or any column and then guys see the attention the main thing is here what we take the column name here what is the column name taken column name okay <clears throat> this is outer query and now in the inner query what will happen is here will be the operator let me just make a bracket uh, around here choose the operator whichever operator you want and then then we will write what inner query what we will write here inner query select and then the same column name column name from emp guys the main thing what you have to understand is mistake can you see this is red color and this is also red color or not can you see this this column name and this column name is in red color and this column name and this column name is the same that means whichever column we will take in the inner query in the select statement must be present in where in the okay. outer okay. query where where condition are you able to understand the syntax whichever column we will take in this select okay of the inner this is inner query did you understood this much this is inner query and this is what this is outer query this is what outer query okay now the thing is whichever column we will take in the inner query select statement the same column we are taking where guys tell me outer okay. query where statement did you understood this must tell me yes or no yes sir and here these are operators it can be less than it can be equal to it can be greater than okay this kind of operators can be used this is the syntax this is the syntax did you understood this syntax tell me yes, yes. or no yes this sir. is the syntax 
if you have understood this syntax guys then it is very very clear this is the syntax of a sub query so <clears throat> this is the query of a maximum salary if i want to get the second maximum salary this question i don't know how many times interview has been asked second maximum salary so guys which is the second maximum salary here 3000 3000 <laughs> Let us write down like this. Order by. So, oh, which is the second maximum salary? Is it three thousand or not? Tell me yes or no. Yeah. Yes. So, if I want to get the second maximum salary, what I can do? I have got this maximum salary, mm -hmm. and again I will write maximum salary, and I will make it less than that particular maximum salary. That means what, guys? Try to understand. There are two boys. Okay. This is boy one. This is boy two. And this is boy three. So now I want to get the second tallest boy. What I will do is, first I will get the tallest boy. Then I will get the second tallest boy. And I will compare this tallest boy with second tallest boy. And what I will see, tell what. this boy should be tallest but he should be less than the tallest boy tallest. that means it is his second tallest or not tell me yes or no yes if sir. i tell this particular boy is less than only the tallest boy that means what he is the second tallest or not tell me yes or no yes that is what is the concept that means here the maximum salary is 5000 the second maximum salary is 3000 so what query i will write just see very clearly let me just clear this screen and show you here how to clear this screen clsr clsr select what i will do is max of sal from emp now i put what where where, where? Yeah. sal sal uh, less where sal what less than or greater than Less than. Less than. Less than. And then I have to give a bracket. Always inner query is written in bracket. Did I told you this? Inner query is written in bracket. Can you see this bracket? Small bracket. Inner query is always written in small bracket. Remember that. So here I have given bracket. What I will write? Select max of cell from cell from EMP. So what is this query, guys? Can you just think? This will give what maximum salary, and this will also give maximum salary. But what is the difference? This maximum salary will be less than the first maximum, maximum salary. salary. That means it will be maximum, but it will be less than the less first than maximum. The first maximum. That means it will become the second maximum. Are you able to understand? Yes. Sir. See, this will give the first maximum salary. Yes. This will also give the maximum salary, but its salary will be less than the first maximum yes. salary. First maximum. that means it will be second maximum salary or not tell me yes or no yes sir so will i get 3000 or not yes sir guys did you understood second maximum salary everywhere they will ask tell me yes or no yes sir so what we did is guys first which query gets executed tell me inner query so what is the output let let me just write down so that you will understand here okay the so second maximum salary query is select max of sal from this table emp where sal less than what select max of sal from emp so now guys tell me which query will get executed first select max of salary from no no tell me outer or inner query inner inner query inner within query. the bracket this is, this is inner query what is the output of this inner query the maximum of uh, so what salary. is that what is that maximum of salary what is that value that is 5000 Five thousand. Fine. Yeah. Then what happen, guys? This particular inner query will give output to which query? Uh, input outer. to the. It will give output to which query? Outer query. Yes or no? Query. Yes. It will give input to the outer query. So now what will happen? This outer query will get executed. How will be the execution of this outer query? This will tell what. It will I select. I want the... the maximum of salary from EMP where salary is less than what? Five thousand. Five thousand. That means is it second maximum or not? Yes, sir. Yes. This is maximum, but less than the first maximum. That means it is what? Second maximum. 
second maximum did you understood this much tell me yes or no yes sir so if i have to get the third maximum what i will do guys can you just think uh yes sir we'll have to repeat the uh repeat Where? the inner query two times yes yeah. um, Salary. salary less than what less than less than uh, select less max, than. max of sal from emp from emp that is just c c if we execute we will have a better understanding so what is the query select max, max of sal from emp where salary less than what select max, max of sal sorry max of sal from, from Uh, max of cell from, from emp where cell less than what less than uh, select, select max, max of, of salary cell from, from emp how many times bracket will be closed two two times. two times so what is the error guys missing select guys. select spelling is wrong right select spelling is yeah. wrong one is spelling wrong the entire execution for coding will be always wrong okay it's fine so this is the third maximum salary 2975 yes or no yes so see what is the query no select max cell from emp where salary less than select max cell from emp where salary less than select max cell from emp so what how the execution will happen guys first which query will get executed Inner query. inner query it will yeah. give 5000 then what will happen this outer query select max cell from emp but less than the first maximum right. salary so the output will be 3000 3, now what will happen this query will get executed select max cell from emp but less than the second maximum so i will get what third maximum did you understood this much tell me yes or no yes yes select star from emp order by salary desc what is the third maximum is it not yes so if you can think just write a query for third minimum third minimum yeah third minimum just think and write in the chat box third minimum salary everyone write down okay first think how will i get first minimum then you think how will i get second minimum then you think how will i get third minimum Who has written this query, Ram Krishna? Select mean cell from where this is wrong. Think, think.
this query is almost correct, but the syntax is wrong. Divya has written the correct query. Let us just see, guys. Okay, time over. See here. First minimum salary, what is the query? Select mean of, are you there? Yeah. Tell me first minimum salary. Select mean cell from EMP. So what is the first minimum salary? Is it 800 or not? Yes. So now I get, want to get second minimum. So what I will write? Where salary less than or greater than? What I will write? Select mean of salary from EMP. Where salary less than or greater than? Greater than. Select mean mean of salary from EMP. How many brackets? Double. What will be the output? 1100. 1100 is the third minimum or not? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Yes. So guys, if I have to get the second maximum and second minimum in one query, can you just think what operator I will use? And the operator. <clears throat> See, the query is, query for you guys is to find second maximum salary and second minimum the second uh, minimum salary in one query write down first 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 Just think which operator I will use. If you can think, that's more than enough. Logical. Guess, guess, guess which operator I will use. Suppose second maximum query is what? Tell me second maximum query, everyone. Select max of cell from EMP where what? Where cell is less than, less than, than X, uh, max cell. cell. From EMP. This is which query, guys? Second maximum. This is, this second, is second maximum, maximum salary. Now I want second minimum salary. Okay. EMP. See, this is second maximum salary, guys. Okay. Yes. Let me just open in Notepad so that it will be more clear. Okay. Now, what is the query for second minimum? Select mean of sal from EMP. From EMP, where what? Salary greater than what? And select minimum salary from EMP. This is which query, guys? The second minimum salary, the second, second maximum salary. Now I want both in one query. What operator I should use? And. And you will use. The and is used for column. This is for queries. You. Can you guess for me, you? Union. Union. Will use union, right? Or yes or no, guys? Do you remember union? What happens in union? All the record from table one, table two, uh, all from will be uh, will be uh, taken out except the duplicates. Do you remember this? Tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. But if we use uh, the native method, duplicates value will also be shown, na? Which one? In sir, in native method. No, no. Oracle native method is only for joins. Union is not a join, right? Okay. So. See, see, we are not joining. First, try to understand. Union tells what? Union tells what? Union. If there are two sets, do you remember I told you there is set one and two? Do you remember that? Set two and three. Then union of set one and set two gives what? One and then two and three. And the duplicate will not be shown. Do you remember this? Yes. So all the records from both the sets, but the duplicate will not be shown. Yes or no? Yes, yes. So that is what I am telling. Here what is happening? This is one separate query. It will give the 
maximum second maximum this is one separate query which will give what second minimum now i want both the outputs so what i have used is what one operator this will this query output is what 5000 this query output is what suppose second minimum is 950 so it will do a union between 5000 and 950 what will be the output tell me 5000 and then what 950 yes or no guys yes tell me yes or no yes yes i don't know second minimum is 950 only okay so let us just write down this query guys this is fine what i have to use union, union. tell me the query select select max of cell in of cell from the mp where what greater than greater than what नो now if you have understood then we can get second maximum fourth minimum third maximum fifth minimum yes or no yes sir yes so any maximum minimum queries now you can write down and the rule is still 32 levels in oracle in sql server oh, there is more so up to 32 levels in oracle we can use what sub query Is up to thirty, thirty-two maximum minimum. We can use sub query, and I think I mostly we in real time two level, three level, four level is more than enough. But up to thirty-two levels we can use. Apart from that, if we want to use, we have to go for some from other database like SQL Server, MySQL, and all. And also there are some analytical functions which I will teach you call as. uh rank and dense rank then i will tell you how to get the second third maximum using that analytical functions are you clear with sub query tell me yes or no yes sir okay if you are clear with sub query you are clear with join let us just practice some queries let us just see what is your level okay so <clears throat> now you can solve any query guys okay now you don't worry you all the 256 you should solve i just wanted to give you one particular query so that let me just see your um, level mm which query i should give you yeah this is the query i wanted to give you this is a good query okay yeah yeah guys start preparing this particular query i'm writing in chat also list the details of employee whose salary is more than employee blake employee blake do you have the tables i have always told you just be ready with your tables don't depend on me emp table should be in your notebook or your uh, screenshot or anything you should be ready with that this is the table this is the query now give the answer
Uh, I think who has written this query? Uh, Shreya or Divya? Uh, sir, Shreya. Sir, uh, I'm correcting it. Uh, I have done a mistake. Yeah. Why are you writing Sahel? Sa Here you have to write select. No? Yes, sir. Can you write select cell equal to bell from EMP? Is it fine query? Tell me first thing. Hmm? Here in, in, the, in the filter condition, can you give in the select? Always you have to give in where, right? Shreya, filter condition you write in the where condition or select condition? Sir, filter where can, sorry, sir, where? Then why you write in select cell equals to play? play? You have to write what? Think. Sir. Uh, Almost sir, it is correct. Select cell from EMP. Then you have to write where condition. Select star from EMP where salary is greater uh, than. Greater than what? Select cell from EMP. Where what? Where uh, salary is equal to Blake. Salary will be Blake. Blake is in where? Sorry, which sorry, column? Sorry, sorry. Blake is in which sorry. column? You have to think sorry. which column, which table. Think, think, right. Sorry, employee name. Yes, write down the query. You're done. So what is the query, guys? Please, the detail of employee whose salary is more than the employee Blake. So is that from MPB salary greater than select cell from MPB? Yeah, this is correct query. Rest of you write down.
is it done guys tell me yes or no yes sir <laughs> okay so guys list detail detail of employee will be in which table guys can you just tell me Guys, now pay your attention. Detail of employee. Ravi, yeah, Mr. Ali, sir, sir, sir. Yeah, Blake, Blake. It's not black. And you have to take from this E name column. See, Blake is in E name column. First, details of employee. Can you just tell me the query, everyone? Select star from E M T. This is what detail of employee. Now, what is the sub query rule? Where? What is the query is required, guys? Where? Whose salary is more than employee Blake? So employee Blake. Means whose salary? Whose salary means what? Where salary? Where salary? Greater than. And Blake is in which column, guys? E name. E name. E name column. So what? What shall I write? This column should be present in select or not? Tell me yes, yes or no. Yes, yes. This cell will come in where? Here or not? Yes. Sir. Then what it will come from? Do you remember the syntax from? From. Do you remember the syntax? Do you remember the syntax? Select column. From table, and then if you want, you can put what where yeah. condition. Mm -hmm. Are you able to understand, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yes. So what we will we do? What we will do here? Select cell from EMP cell where e name is. Where? See, Blake is in which column? Blake is in which column? E name column. E name. E -name. Ravi, are you understanding? Blake is in which column? E name column, yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. So, guys, please reply. Okay. E name column. Then, E name equals to what? Blake. Blake. Great, guys. Great, great, great. You understanding? Sub query. So, the next query, please be ready. List the employee working in research department. Next query for you all is last query for sub query list employee working in research department research department so research department is in which table department table okay so this is the research department so i want the details of employee working in research department so can you just think This query you have to write in both the ways in sub query also and also via which via joins also. Yes, both the ways you write now. Guys, do you understand this? Select start from EMP where D name equals to research. D name is in is it in EMP table? Ram Krishna. Yeah, uh, sorry, uh, it was in department. So how you're writing? Think, think. Try it by both the ways, using subquery also, using join also. This query, if you wrote, you understood the subquery and joins.
Yes, first you have to think that this D name is not in the EMP table. This is D name department name research is in department table. It is not in EMP table. You cannot put where like this. Is it done guys? Tell me yes or no. Divya and Shreya, what, are, what both of you are doing? Have you written that? We're trying. I've written from one. So what, what is the rule? Where, whatever column you take in where, the same column should be present in what? In the select query of the inner query, yes or no? Yes. Sir. And why you have written a star here? Think which is the common column which can be taken? Which is the common column between these two tables? In department number. So where you could have written what? You could have written where what? Where department number and this should be EMP table. Okay. I wanted, what is the query guys? Sir, sir we have to fetch data from the department table only, no? No, no, list the employee. The employee detail is in which table? Okay, sir. List Maybe. employee means em details of employee is in, is in which table? Sir, it is in EMP table, yes sir, I get it. Why are you writing star from DEPTR? They list the details of employee. The details of employee is in which table? EMP table. List the employees. What is the query, guys? List the employees in research department. Focus here. List the employees in research department. List employee. List of employees we will get from which table? EMP table. EMP table. So what is the query for that? Select star. Select star from EMP. Select star from EMP. Okay, fine. Now how can I join this and these two tables? Which is the common column between this and these two tables, guys? Tell me. Department number. So we, what I will write in the where condition? Where department where number department. equals to 20. Where department number, I have to select what? The operator here or not? Tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. Equals to. I can write equal to or I can write greater than, less than, or I can write in. Let us just write in. So what I have to write, guys? Select. select. Now what I have to write? Department number, this will be same. Whatever column I will take, same column I will take here. Then what I have to write? From. From which table? DEPT table. DEPT table. Where what? Where uh, D name is equal to D name equals to result. Why are you struggling that much? I'm not able to understand. These are simple queries. Is it yes or no, guys? Tell me. Yes, sir. So using uh, joins, can you just tell me how to join this two table? Can you just tell me? <clears throat> Select suppose I want to take the name of the employee. Select E dot E yeah. name. And also, um, I want the department name. So I can take D dot D name from EMP E comma DPT D. Now, how can I join this two table? Union. No, no, to join the table, I go tell you guys what is the join. E dot department number equals to what? D dot department number. This is join, guys. Union is not a join. This is called join. The condition what you write now. E dot department number equals to D dot department number. This is called as join. Are you to understand? Tell me yes or no. Okay. This is actual join. Here you are joining this column to this column. <clears throat> okay. Now what will happen? Now, now what is the next condition? What is the next condition? I have joined these two table. I have got these two columns. Now what is the next condition? D name should be what? Research. Yes or not? Yes, sir. So, and tell me the query. And D dot, D dot, D dot. First, you have to specify from which table, which column, which is this table? Department D table. D yeah, what is, what is the department table name? D. D dot D. what? D name. D name. 
dean m equals to what research research what is the error department number spelling is wrong or not tell me yes or no yes so guys at least just check at least this things at least okay d dot d e p t number again error what is the error select e dot e name d dot d name from e m p e comma department d where e dot department number equals to d dot department number then what is the next thing tell me guys and d dot d name parenthesis must be closed one more time mm -hmm. huh? d dot d name equals to research what is the query mistake in this semicolon Bracket. Hmm? Oh. Bracket, so, sir. Hmm? Bracket, okay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Unnecessarily bracket is coming over here. We don't have to give bracket here. Uh, just uh, starting you know. bracket. I have also. Uh, bracket is not there here. Unnecessarily bracket. Okay. So, are you able to understand, guys? The query. Tell me yes or no. Yes. Did you understood sub query? Did you understood joins? Tell me yes or no. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So start practicing, guys, because tomorrow I'm going to take a very tough, uh, tough knot. It's a little bit complex topic called as correlated sub query. To learn correlated sub query or correlated queries, your uh, your sub query and joins concept should be completely clear. Then only you will understand correlated query. Else you search any net book, YouTube, YouTube, any tube, you will never understand correlated query. So the sub query and joins concept should be completely clear to learn correlated query. Tomorrow we will meet guys. Okay. Is it fine? Tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. Okay. Wait, what? Just one second. Just let me just send the notes. Now I want to send the notes, you know, then and there so that uh, it is not uh, delayed. Although I give the recording everything, I'll give you the materials of SQL. First you practice from my notes recording, then I'll give the material, but what I teach and what is the notes? You go any interview of the world, same question, same concepts will be used. Yeah, let me just give you. This is the, this is the, this is the, this is the open center. <clears throat> Let me just give you all this, whatever screenshot we have as of now. So that if you get a proper understanding, hold on. Okay, guys, then we'll meet tomorrow, 8 p.m. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, sir.